Welcome to City Hall. This is the new home of London's government, the Greater London Authority, the Mayor of London and the London Assembly. This building is a symbol of our city's amazing capacity for reinvention and renewal. Not only is it at the cutting edge of sustainable design, but it will also help to act as a catalyst for regeneration within the Royal Docks and the local area, just as the old City Hall did at the turn of the millennium a little further upriver. This new civic space is open to all Londoners, encouraging participation in the key decisions affecting our city as we seek to build a better London for everyone. A city that is fairer, greener, safer and a more prosperous place for all of our communities. Here in the historic Royal Docks, City Hall sits alongside great expanses of water which once brought new materials and communities from around the world to London. Today, the Royal Docks are home to new housing, transport innovations and numerous new businesses, large and small. It's an area that brims with opportunities. Whether it's Excel, where world-class exhibitions from Comic-Con to EcoBuild bring together huge communities, Silvertown, where new employment opportunities and housing will soon transform one of London's largest historic landmarks into a place for everyone, or The Good Hotel, a former floating prison, now transformed into a social enterprise. Over the next 20 years, with City Hall as a catalyst right at the heart of the neighbourhood, and with the opening of the brand new Elizabeth Line, 30,000 new homes and 41,500 new jobs will come to this area. We've got the big wigs <laughs> moving into our ends. Um, you know, this part of London that's been neglected for 30 odd years. So that whole landing of a spaceship, like feel, being City Hall, you know, the policy makers, the people can help us. Um, then it becomes a bit of a palpitation in the heart. It becomes breathtaking. It becomes like, gosh, maybe something is happening. Our eyes are opening. It's awe inspiring to be fair. You know, enterprise zone creation. Uh, that means wealth creation. That means, okay, you're saying it's possible to uplift us, you know, because there's a lot, you know, when you've been 30 years in a proposed region and that only the last 10 years you've really seen something happen. It's a proud moment, I would say, um, for London and especially for the docks. City Hall itself stands as a new civic home for all Londoners near and far to explore and debate our city's past, present and future. The building itself tells the story of transformation through its design, reinvention and architecture, formerly an innovation centre called The Crystal, commissioned by Siemens in 2012. The building has become the base for a brave leap into a new age of municipal equity and environmental responsibility. This pioneering low energy structure, designed by London architect Wilkinson Eyre, has been transformed into a fantastic new public space where the inclusion of all Londoners in the decisions that impact their lives and future takes centre stage. Redesigned by London-based office Architecture 00, City Hall includes numerous important environmental features that will help tackle the climate and ecological emergencies and improve air quality so that London can succeed in becoming a net zero carbon city by 2030. The building meets the most stringent standards for sustainable design, achieving a rare BRIAM outstanding level of certification. So our approach to sustainability was to reuse as much of the material um, that was existing and not rip things out unnecessarily, um, but also to source as much of the new material from within the UK as possible. Uh, this building is also uh, BRIAM outstanding uh, rated uh, and was previously had the same rating but for a different use. So this may be the only building that uh, has been uh, BRIAM outstanding rated twice for different uses. It uses around 50% less energy compared to similar buildings, runs on 100% renewable energy and is packed with smart low energy features. Energy efficient LED lamps, a tilted facade which deflects excess heat and is triple glazed to maximise insulation. Over 1,500 square metres of photovoltaic panels cover two thirds of the roof. A 60,000 litre rainwater harvesting tank serving the irrigation and toilets and ground source heat pumps which harness the natural energy of the earth for heating and cooling. These ecological features may sound expensive, but the relocation of City Hall has actually unlocked significant savings that will be used to protect frontline public services 
was a total of £61 million redirected back to frontline needs over five years. This building proves that with responsible design, it is possible to provide more for everyone whilst taking care of London's and the planet's precious resources. One of my favourite parts of the building is the London living room. Um, and that one of the reasons is that you can literally see from the public realm through the living room into the committee rooms where hopefully you are literally seeing democracy in action. The actual building itself being uh, transparent, that does lean towards us being able to see what our government is actually doing. Because seeing is believing because it's a message, isn't it? It's, a, it's, it's not just an iconic building, it, it's a message. We're here to make change, let's make that change. And that's the, the whole point of a council. So for us to see it, it makes, gives us more faith. And it means we can actually feel comfortable in saying, this is wrong here, this is not right here, there's an injustice here, there's an equality there, and we'll be heard. And that's all the community want, to be heard and action taken. We want City Hall to feel open and welcoming for all Londoners. And we're so proud we're leading the way in providing the highest level of inclusivity and accessibility for everyone. Our new home is a place where you can see how the Mayor of London, the Greater London Authority and the London Assembly are working in the interests of all Londoners to create a more equal and brighter future for everyone. This is your invitation to discover London City Hall in the Royal Docks.